Hello and welcome everybody to 1985. It seems like we just barely talked about 1985 just a little while ago. 1985, Sandy Lyle won the Open. Uh, Bernard Langer won the Masters. And Back to the Future came out in 1985. And do you remember? Every time I think of 1985, I always think of Marty McFly and Doc. You know, 1985, you know, because he went back to 1955. And so I always think of 19... That, that's the first thing I think of when I hear 1985. And so I, I'm sure I've said that in other videos. But that's what I think of. You know, as a kid, it was Goonies. Goonies is awesome. As a kid, I loved Goonies. My One of my college buddies was from that area. And he says, he's been to that street. I've been to that street. I have pictures of me on that street. And then, you know, you're like, in college, you're like, yeah, that's awesome. Goonies was so cool. Maybe adults were more interested in other movies. But as a kid, it was Goonies. Back to the Future was really good, too. So... In 1985, the other thing that happened, the U.S. approved a patent for this, the slot line putter. We should get this on the review table and have a closer look. So I have two here because of the grip situation. The, <laughs> the inertial, okay, high moment putter right here. It's made out of aluminum, and then they poured lead and epoxy into either one of these cavities for toe, heel, weighting, and they put a brass cover over it for looks okay really clean looking nice design that good engineering aluminum head so it's lightweight so you can get that real extreme moment of inertia a high moi whatever you want to call it inertial here in the cavity the sole it's kind of hard to get on camera i'll probably just take a picture it's a slot line high moment and then there's the patent pending so this is the pre-85 version of the inertial putter and then you you know if you spin around you can see the toe, you can see the face, the heel, very much like an answer or cushion putter, very, very ping-esque. The difference is the top line. You can see there's a little notch where the, you can see the little, the little uh, dot if, you, if your eyes are lined up just right. But if you lean back, you can line it up with the toe up. If you lean forward, you can lean it with the heel up. If you're right straight over it, then it will be a flat lie. And how do you know if it's flat? I don't know. It's just, to me, it seems a little gimmicky. Okay, so that's what that's for. So I'm gonna switch over to the other one now, show you a few little differences here. So this one also has the, the insert, but this looks more like a plastic. And if it is brass, it looks like they use some clear epoxy. The inertial is down here on the aft portion by the sole. And look at the line. And so, and there's just lines here. And then there's an alignment line here. And this line, not a dot, is what lines up with your eyesight looking through this little notch. And that's what they're talking about, the slot line. Little notch right there. Hmm, interesting. So the reason why, here, let me show you. So I've wrapped this grip. So that's why I'm not showing it to you. It's a win aftermarket grip anyway. I want to show you the original slot line grip. So this is a crimped stepless shaft right here. Can you see the crimping right here? And then we move up all the way to, and so just again to clarify, so this is the patented one. On this one here, you actually has the patent numbers on it. This is 1985 and after. So this is post 1985. The patent was accepted in 1985, so that one I just showed you before was the pre-85 inertial putter. All right, so the grip is what I want to show you. It just says, it's a paddle grip. It says slot line, and down here it says soft, and then up here it says cushion. Slot line branded here on the butt. And so those are the slot line inertial putters, the pre-85 and the post, the 85 and after putter. There's going to be some overlap, but pretty fun inertial putters. Let's show you the outdoor footage first, and then we'll move indoors.
So this is the answer to last week's question. What was a huge putter in the 80s that has all but disappeared? They even tried to revive this recently, the slot line name, and it I don't know if it really caught on. It might still be around. Maybe. Let me know in the comments below. So I have the pre-patent version and the patented version here. Uh, there are, you know, you saw the slight differences. And when I think of these, they're really interesting because they over and they out-engineered the engineering firm. They out-pinged ping, okay? And they were number two in one year in the 80s for putter sold. Number two, second only to ping, all right? So everybody was jumping on this bandwagon. Yeah, slot line rocks, it's amazing engineering with aluminum and lead. And you know, I think of it like an electric bus. Have you seen these electric buses where they have their little stops and they stop at the, and they charge and then they go and it's an electric bus, it's wonderfully engineered, all right? No, heck, you know, golf clap. Yes, amazing engineering. Nobody's gonna argue that that's not an amazing piece of engineering. And then you go on a date. You're not gonna take your date on an electric bus, are you? No way. Doesn't matter how cool the engineering is. You don't wanna bore your date with, look at the amazing engineering. And they didn't want that when this stops, they use induction charging the charger, you don't have to plug it in, na, 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 na. Who cares? Your date doesn't care. Well, you're gonna get an Uber, aren't you? You're gonna get some sweet Tesla rocking up and you're gonna be riding in a Tesla. You're not gonna be riding in an electric bus on a date. That's what this is. These are like an electric bus. Yes, bravo, good job. It does the job beautifully. But really, really, do you wanna be seen in public with these? Back in the 80s, maybe, there's always, people are, somebody's gonna contrive some sort of example where like, well, actually my date's an engineer for, all right, okay. You can talk about school buses to your heart's desire. This, and the same will be with for slot lines. Some people will love these and think these are the most collectible thing on the planet. You know, to me, I don't know. All right, let's take a couple of putts here. I'm gonna to pretend to, tr to care about whether or not I sink one of these. See, look at this al alignment line. So there's that dot, which I showed you, that aligns. But like, I can stand like this, and I can align that dot with that heel way up. I can also stand like this. And I can look down and I can align that dot up with my vision, okay? Or I can lean out. I'd rather have a bubble level. I know, I think it's illegal to have a bubble level on your putter, but that's what I would rather have than this. Anyway, give me an illegal putter. All right, let's see. I pretend, pretend to care. This is <laughs> just in my, in my studio here. It's not like this is for any money or anything. Uh, straight off the bat, that felt really good. It was really soft. Like, modern putters put inserts in to get that kind of a feel. I don't know, that was pretty amazing. Here, let's try that again. That surprised me, give me a second here. Like indoors is where it usually captures the, did I just billiards that in? Indoors is where it usually gets that loud clack and it feels kind of harsh. Like even after like outdoor putting, but like this was actually really indoors. This feels really, really good. Am I missing these right? I'm a little bit left here. Too far left. If I miss a little bit left, it goes left. But we have to do an experiment here. We need to determine if these are as forgiving as they are. Let's just grab a couple of these. Do these give you any more forgiveness? Okay, I'm gonna hit one way out of the toe. Look at that, okay, way out of the toe. If that's the only one that I make. So I could feel, you know, it didn't hit the sweet spot, it's gonna lose distance, all right? And I think we saw that. Then if, when, you, when you hit it out of, out of the sweet spot. But I wanna compare, let me, right off camera here, I have a bullseye putter. Let me grab one of these really quick and I want to see how different it feels when I hit this one out of the toe. All right, way out of the toe, just like the slot line. Yeah, a little, it didn't feel great, uh, but it didn't feel that different. Huh, all this engineering when it comes to feel. Let me hit one normal, see if this one feels as soft. Uh, with the way I hit that putt, I hit that pretty hard. That felt not as soft as the slot line. Bullseye versus slot, who, the things that 
happen spontaneously on this channel. See, that one felt very soft. I like, all right, I want to hit at least one with the later 80s version, the post-patent slot line. Oh man, look at these alignment lines. How could you possibly miss with these alignment lines? I mean, it's just absolutely amazing. You know, it's funny, I was so focused on the alignment lines, I totally forgot that there was a slot I should be looking through. Oh, it was lined up anyway. Was I aiming? Yeah, I was aiming at the right side of that hole. So I missed it. I don't know. You know, these are fun putters. I'm interested in putting these in. I'm interested in riding electric buses, all right, because they're cool. I'm interested in playing a slot line because I want to capture the 80s. In the 80s, bullseye putters were probably, you saw them at major tournaments. I think I saw them at Masters. People were using bullseye putters, like the flanged putters. They were chipping out of the, you know, rough or the, the fringe. And so were Ping. Ping was all over the place. And slot line. So I'm really curious to play one of these, just getting, you know, the mindset of somebody from the 80s, play some 80s clubs, get some, <laughs> I can't, I don't think I could bring myself to play this with like some ping, ping I2s, no way. You'd have to use a ping putter if you're playing ping irons. Uh, other than that, I mean, McGregor, we would probably play, so what would, you, what would I pair this with? Wilson, you know, the 8802 was an old, it was old even then. Yeah, I'd probably put this with a set of like Wilson Wilson staff irons. Uh, any other thoughts? Some H and B, H B clubs. I don't know. I, I'll I'll think of something, but definitely something I want to play on the course. Not something I feel like inclined to collect. Let me know your thoughts about the slot line putter. Is, you might have great memories with this. You might not. You might love or hate this. I'm interested to know. I do want to thank my patrons. Huge shout out to my patrons. Here's a list of patrons that agreed to have their names in the credits. If you want to join us on Patreon, it's just behind the scenes stuff. I post a couple of things every month. And another way you can support us is visiting my Amazon shop. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. I have some golf, golf accessories on that shop. Otherwise, if you enjoy this content, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I am the Vintage Golfer.